Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about a big topic right now. Twin Turbo Cars not being competitive on No Prep King Season 5. Now, photo going to go directly to their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Gangs Race Series and all the other Street Outlaws shows. So, we've been talking about screw blower cars, pro charger cars, and twin turbo cars for a while. Recently, we've seen time slips from two screw blower cars at NPK weights and basically under the NPK rules. So, this time slip from Jim House car, the Guardian, you can see this thing went 204 miles an hour to the 8th mile and it ran in the 370s, which is extremely impressive. And in my opinion, that mile an hour is very, very impressive. Now, that is faster than most twin turbo cars on NPK, and that's on a blower car. In my opinion, the two fastest mile an hour turbo cars on NPK is the Murder Nova, which runs 201, 202, even he said it, and Jeff Lutz, which pretty much runs 202, 204 or so. That's under NPK rules, and both of those cars run significantly lighter than Chuck's twin turbo car, Dominator, Robin Roberts, because they have different engine combinations. Even though they make a lot of horsepower, Jeff Lutz is running a cast aluminum block, big block Chevy, and can weigh as low as 2,600 pounds, and Murder Nova can actually weigh as little as 2,550 pounds. So a big topic right now is that the twin turbo cars are not going to be competitive. Now, I feel like every combo under the current rules can be competitive with the right tuner and the right setup. That's just the bottom line. You get Steve Petty behind the keyboard of one of these twin turbo cars, and that thing is going to be competitive. But when you're seeing screw blower cars that run a lot faster to the 60 foot and 330, I mean five numbers faster or so, than a twin turbo car and those cars all are, are already running over 200 miles an hour to the eighth mile like justin which i just talked about the other day that went 202 and jim howe going 204 i mean the top screw blower cars this codeine and those other cars they're going to run 200 plus and the pro charger cars are running really close to that if not the same because pro charger just came out with two new superchargers which we're going to talk about that on another on another video so ryan martin is most likely running one of those blowers and he is probably trapping 204 miles an hour so for an example when sean says he's going to turbo fuck people well if the blower cars are running the same or faster than his twin turbo car how are you going to go around him so not only are turbo cars slightly more difficult to tune than the blower cars or pro charge cars because you have to deal with boost curves timing and fuel where a blower car you really don't have to mess with the boost because it's either ran off the crankshaft like a pro charger or with a belt so basically they're rpm dependent so you pretty much only deal with timing and fuel pretty much so in my opinion twin turbo cars can still be competitive but next year we're probably going to see less of these twin turbo cars this year a lot of people swapped over to blower cars but next year i think they're going to be a lot more pro charger cars and screw blower cars